What's up guys? So today we're going to be going over um, basic MPLS configuration. So the ultimate goal is to get traffic between CE1 and CE2. So R1 and R6 are our two CE routers. R2 and 5 are the two PE routers and then in the middle we have our provider network. So the first off, first thing we want to do is get the label switch path set up between 2 and 5. So to do that, we need to enable OSPF everywhere. I already have all the IP addresses set up. As you can see there, so let's go put OSPF on the interfaces. And in order to enable LD, LDP everywhere, I'm just going to go under the OSPF process and put LDP auto config or MPLS. All right, now that we've got that, let's move on to number three. See that we're forming an adjacency with number two. Let's move on to router four. And if I put my loop back, no, I didn't. Our last provider router, which is router five. All right, so now we should have a full switch path between two and five. So do trace route. To two. You can see we have labels. So the last uh, router three is going to pop the label, so that's why it's not showing up for the last hop. If we show the MFib, you can see that we have labels assigned for our interfaces. So if you see no label, that's an issue. But we're not going to get into the details, so let's continue. So now that we have the switch path set up, we want to get our customer routes. So we're going to set up a VRF for CE1 and 2, or router 1 and router 6. So go under router 2, set up our VRF, and we'll say 1, doesn't matter. IPv4. Well, address randomly, IPv4 unicast. Now let's turn it on. We'll set an RD, which is a route distinguisher of 1.1. And then we'll want it to set the route targets, but we'll get into that in a second. <clears throat> so right now, it's we got that set up. Now let's establish a BGP session between router 2 and router 1. Actually, let's, let's get our BGP session between 2 and 5 first.
finish our run. All right, now we got our VPN v4 neighbor set up. Let's go back to, let's go to router one, which is the customer router. Let's go ahead and set up the BTP pairing between the customer router and our PE router. So on the PE side, we need to set up the BTP session in, under the VRF, but on the customer side, that's transparent. They don't even know that they're in a VRF based on their configuration. So not 25, 10. Do it on the directly connected link. It's a habit to type in the subnet mask. Oops, set myself. I'm gonna do router two. Go back to the interface and we need to assign the interface to the VRF. And when you just do that, it will remove the IP addresses that you have configured. IP address again. All right. So if we do so we're not learning anything because we haven't advertised anything on router one. So let's go back. Make a new loop back. Well, I think we have a loop back. Let's advertise that. And there we go. We're learning the loop back from the CE router. So let's do the same thing on five and six. Just copy this. All right, so now we have a BGP neighbor between our CEs and our PEs. And 
efficiency there. All right, so what is the, why are we not learning routes between the two CEs? So we need to add the, the export and the import values in the VRF. So if we go into router two, you can see here that we don't have any route targets. So we go under VRF definition one. We'll say both, and then we'll just give it a, a value. So with this, if you have more than two neighbors, you need to, you know, what, depends on what you want to learn where. But what you export, you need to import in the other side. So we want to import and export 1.1. One one. So that will just, and but if we do that both sides, then they'll import, import and export other routes. Same thing. So now you can see on router five, we're learning the route from router one because we're importing it. And on router six, to show, show IP route, you can see that we're getting one salute back. All right, so now that we got the routes, once again, let's try to ping it. And we can. So, that's the basic MPLS config. If you have any questions or you want more details on anything, let me know in the comments. Thanks.